Good morning, my name is Robert Robertson and today I will talk to you about unethical behaviors of educators. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, there is no audience, but I will send the email link out of the video to faculty, staff, and administrators. What is unethical behaviors? Unethical behaviors is an action that falls outside of what is considered morally right for a person in the profession industry. In other words, it's called having character and doing what's right at all times. It's part of the code of ethics for educators. Here are some examples of ethical behaviors. Um, first of all, cheating on standardized tests. That's a very popular subject right now. SAT, ACT, because there's a lot of pressure on kids getting to college and, and for schools also to uh, achieve to a certain level because there's a lot of high state testing going on. And if a school doesn't meet certain standards, the people in higher authority is held accountable. So there's a lot of cheating scandals that have been going on in the last three years. Also, inappropriate contact between students and teachers. Uh, that can be Facebook, sexual contact, testing, all of that foul on an inappropriate contact with teachers and students. Not having a professional uh, relationship, taking it a step further, which is uh, a violation of Alabama Code of Ethics and it falls on unethical behavior. And also mental or physical abuse of students. That's another part of unethical behavior, teachers. Teachers are entrusted with uh, students every day. So it's very important that teachers treat students the right way, how they want that someone would like to treat their child. So it's very important that you don't mentor your uh, students when you have them in your care. Here are a very important or uh, interesting case that I found was the Atlanta Public School cheating scam. Everything showed that teachers and principals correct the mistakes on important tests, such as the uh, ACT. The school system produced great, great gains what called national attention. From this, an investigation took place, and over 178 educators were identified, with 80 people being identified as administrators, which is principals. Parents and students were not given after test scores because of this. Cheating scandal in Atlanta uh, school. Also, this is another scandal. The cheating scandal involved nine educators. The results of the test scores were used to evaluate teachers, principals, and school. So you can see why, again, um, the cheating took place. The teachers and the principals wanted to look good when this score was sent in to the state. So again, they offered the teachers um, and the students test scores. Teachers were forced to uh, cheat so their job would not be on the line. Teachers arranged ways to help students to be successful on the test. Also, it was found that teachers were forced to meet with principals over the weekend to change answers by the superintendent. So, all the way from the high authority superintendent down to the principal to the teachers, this, this took place. The educator had to serve prison time for the action in this cheating scandal. Recently, um, here in Calhoun County, uh, again, the due process is in place. Again, these teachers are considered innocent until proven guilty. But here in Calhoun County, Alabama, two Alabama teachers was uh, recently accused of sexual involvement with students at Weber High School. The two uh, teachers were arrested after being said to have been sexually involved with two students. The teacher was sent and was uh, allegedly said they sent in uh, inappropriate pictures to the students as well as had sexual intercourse and sexual contact with the students. On the, on the top of the contact with the students, they also were found to have been selling THC products and marijuana to the students. So drugs were so also involved. This is an interesting case, not only sexual contact, but also drug use from teacher to student. In conclusion, unethical behavior with the educated professor is totally unacceptable. Unethical behavior can ruin your reputation as well as people involved, parents, and all stakeholders of the school. 
The Center in Fair for Open Testing have identified 35, 37 states across the uh, United States that have, have been involved in some form of unethical uh, behavior by educators. And here are some of the reference that I uh, pulled my information from. If you got any, any questions, just uh, email me and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you for your time today.